to something. Yeah. Why? Why is everything so? I such anger I see now across the country. Uh, so Congress, everybody's so partisan. Why? I mean, uh, Obama, a great communicator, great speaker. Why? Why are we so far apart on all these things? I I, I share your frustration, and it is angrier. Um, look, it's partly a, a deliberate thing. I mean, when I got to Congress in 1981, I've been there. This is my 30th year. Um, things were easier. Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill used to joke that they were friends after 5 o'clock in the evening, although right. as Reagan stayed in office, frankly, it was after 2.30, 3 o'clock. <laughs> right. We didn't make it till 5. But um, the, um, look, a, 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 a very self-described uh, partisan came to office. Newt Gingrich became right. the speaker, and he said this is a mistake, that politics gets muffled if you act as if it's just all people of goodwill disagreeing. So it, 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 they became angrier. Look, we responded, Democrats to Republicans. I will say this. It's not as bad as it looks. A yeah. lot of what happens is cooperative. Uh, I'm chairman of a committee. I work with Republicans on a lot. The problem is partly it's the media, I must say. Um, we have now at a point where the media, uh, good news is no news. Well, so that's true. there is less of that than there was before. Right. But there is also an anger that is out there. And part of the problem, I think, to be honest, is the anger is... Uh, given too much approval. Years ago, there were people on the left uh, who were worried about the war in Vietnam or racism, and they were very angry. In some cases, were even uh, worse than some of the people today. But there was one difference. They didn't have mainstream media people on the radio cheering them on. Right. They didn't have people saying, you're right. They didn't have TV stations saying, good for you, go throw uh, you know, another set of epithets. And I think part of the problem is that the worst behavior these days gets encouraged uh, rather than discouraged. All right, let me ask you, let me go over, let me give you some quick, uh, quick, quick thoughts, quick thoughts. Uh, let's see, the Tea Partiers, quick thought. Well, this is an example. In the first place, they've got a bad analogy. The people in Boston who had the Tea Party couldn't vote. Their argument was no taxation without right. representation. Mm -hmm. um, today, people have the vote. Okay. And I, I've said this to my friends on the, on the liberal side, the conservative side, uh, you there's not an analogous situation. And secondly, the other thing I would say to them is rudeness is not a substitute for thought. Yeah. And, and, and anger is not the way to go. Right, let's go to uh, Vice President Joe Biden. The, the F word thing. Well, he's following uh, <laughs> a great vice president tradition, which is people don't pay much attention to you unless you swear. Right. <laughs> uh, or if somebody really important dies and you get to go to the funeral. Yeah, right. But it's been a good year, I guess, for okay. foreign leaders. Give me some Give me um, some. Give Dick me some Cheney more. said that yeah. same thing to Senator Leahy, and he got a lot of attention. So yeah. that's the way you do it when you're vice president. Give me a word word answer. Sarah Palin. Quitter. Quitter. Okay. Mitt Romney. Uh, Flip-flopper. Flip Is that one word or two? That's two words. Right. Uh, uh, let's see. John McCain. Old. No. <laughs> But I want to say this, look, I, I think, is he, is he two years older than you, Bonnie? Yes, he is, and that's important. <laughs> that's important because I, John McCain gave me the hope that I would not die without being younger than the president. Right. I mean, I, you know, you look to the president yeah. as an authority figure. You start to get older than the president, yeah, you're looking right. for the wheelchair. Yeah, and, or, um, or the Rolling Stones. Yes, yeah. but, uh, okay. but um, when, when John McCain was running for president, I had that one consolation that at least I would have a president older than me. I yeah. could uh, expect that again. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, Barney, thank you very much. Always yeah, a pleasure, my friend.